Okay, so I'll get to the real stuff in the Zoo Slim tubes in a minute here, but first I've got to do a quick mini review of the Revzilla t-shirt. Uh, per FCC nanny stating, I have to say that I got this for free. I won it. So there we have that disclosure. So the big controversy about these t-shirts is the color. And they say they're navy blue, but really, really, they are purple. Um, I do design work. And I would call this a very warm blue. It is more towards the blue end of the spectrum, but it does have a good red tinge to it, making it a shade of purple. And when it washes out, it may or may not become even more so. This is brand new, never been washed, so can't say. But onto it, on the front, we have screened on Revzilla logo art thing, sprocket with blade, whatever. They are 100% cotton from Anvil, a um, manufacturer. A lot of my t-shirts come from them. A lot of printed t-shirts will. So that was the front. On the back, they actually went kind of big time, where it's four colors of screen printing. You have four shades of gray and black and white. So you can see it goes almost all the way to the very bottom of the t-shirt from the very neck of it. So... They didn't scrimp on screen printing. It's nicely done. The ink's not too heavy, so it'll actually breathe a little bit, but spending the money on the four colors, you got to do four screens, one for every color, and that doesn't come cheap. So they're a nicely done T-shirt. They are purple, but they're a nice purple. So on to the force field limb tubes, or Zeus knee protectors, I should say. They are a replacement in their force field line for those limb tubes. I had a previous set an early generation of the limb tubes. They were the ones that just had a single strap across the middle. Um, these are a big improvement from them in terms of protection and comfort. I pulled one apart to show all the pieces, show how they've improved it. Um, so we'll start with the chassis first, or what I call a chassis. So this is the, the uh, carrier for that armor piece. Previously, they were just stretch material, a couple of different types of stretch material with a single elastic band, at least in the version I had. That single elastic band ran around the center and ran right behind your knee. It would bend in your knee and on me, uh, especially on one side, I don't know why, but it tended to bunch up and could get kind of irritating after it was on for a while. Um, another gripe I had about them, though they were quite comfortable on a hot day, they weren't very breathable and could tend to get a little damp underneath them. These guys, the new version, besides being more breathable, and I'll get into that when we get to the armor, but they offer a lot more protection. Besides the new generation of armor, the chassis itself has these areas that are outside of where the armor sits, but gives you extra protection. They're about a centimeter thick of some type of foam. You can't remove them, so I don't know exactly what's going on under there but it does afford you protection you know, besides just that main area for the armor to the left and right of center. One thing to note is that these are a left and right item. They are marked. It's a little sneaky, but it's a nice touch that the these elastic bands that they give you are marked with the size and which leg it's supposed to go onto. You can see here, especially up in these top wings, that they aren't identical this one in my right hand is a couple of centimeters longer top to bottom than the one in my left. And when you put them on, you will notice that they, they do want to sit to one side. So as I mentioned previously, they were just basically this stretch material with a pocket on the inside for the armor, and that was about it. Obviously on the back here we have this nice lightweight stretch material. We do still retain that pocket for the armor design, but in the front They've got a more 3D sort of mesh material to help flow a little more air. And the high wear areas, so the front of your knee and the very top of your shin, they have this kind of lighter weight Cordura tape material, but something that would take a lot more abrasion, or be a lot more resistant to abrasion than this 3D mesh type material. So in the areas like the front of your knee where it's going to be rubbing on the inside of pants a lot, they've beefed up the, the material to make them a lot give it a lot more longevity. 
So the armor, this is the new type of armor from these guys. If you've seen previous versions, it retains this triangular, kind of hexagonal based structure. But now they've incorporated a different design for it. The material is different. And it improved the airflow a lot. As you can see, especially when looking through the back side, you can see my hand right through it. Previously, they just had little pinhole perforations in the armor. And it would get some air through, but not that much. And so even with the, the heavier duty materials used in this, the new version flows a lot more air. I was riding during the summertime in way upstate New York and you know, wearing a fair amount of gear, including these. Um, but I could still feel the air coming through the pants and, and through even the knee protectors, which is really nice. So these were originally cast flat. You can see that they are then cut and glued to pre-shape them. And again, they are left and right. They, if you were to pull out the two, it's a little hard to show in video, but they are not symmetrical. You know, a lot of times you see armor that is, if you would drill a lie down the center, each side is the same, same. These are a little canted towards one side, so they'll give a little more protection towards the outside of your knee, that side that's going to hit when you go down. So one other detail I think I forgot to mention is that these guys also have nice grippers, so these silicone dots on the top and bottom that help it stay in place. They do feel a little strange on your skin if you wear it just straight on your skin, but I usually wore some of the Alpenstar's base layer underneath it, and once you put them in place, they do not move. They're really comfortable, and they don't wander around, and you're not tugging at them and fussing with them. So it's a really nice improvement. Some folks who might be a little more astute may have noticed that mine look a little different than the product photos on any website, specifically right here and here. So when I got them, they had this kind of thick, you know, about half centimeter thick, rubberized force field logo and then the Zeus product logo that sat here. And they were nicely done, but they are kind of thick and kind of sticky material, kind of rubbery. And I really found that when you're moving around, especially if you're riding off-road somewhere, standing up and sticking legs out and sitting back down and lots of motion like that, they caught on the inside of pants and they started getting moving everything around and pants started bunching. That was annoying. But it was really easy to fix by taking an X-Acto knife and going very carefully, cutting the stitching, because they are just stitched on, cutting that stitching, and you can see I could was able to remove them with absolutely no damage to the space layer other than a couple extra threads that got left behind. And with those removed, they no longer stick on the inside of the pants, and they are great. Again, if you're looking at the force field products and you're pondering about the limb tubes, I really say go up to these guys. They are more expensive, but they are a nice step up. So that's it. Nice product. I definitely think they're comfortable and they're worth the money.